What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Awfully Silly. Now, this is the show, of course, if you haven't seen us before, where we like to feature games that could be found on your favorite block of any main GDQ, which is, of course, the awful and or the silly block. Uh, my name is Conception. I'm your host of the show. And today we got a lovely show with a lot of fun movie tie-in games uh, coming up for you. First, of course, we want to go over a few announcements just to make sure that we are indeed good to go. First, uh, Frost Fatale's 2023 prize submissions are now open. So if you're interested in submitting some prizes, you can go on over to gamesdonequick.com for more information, or you can use exclamation point prizes in the Twitch chat to submit your prizes. Um, additionally, some other fun things going on. We have Unapologetically Black and Fast. That's going to be coming up on February 11th through the 12th. You're, uh, what you can do there is you can celebrate some black excellence and speedrunning coming up next month in February. Use exclamation point UBAF in Twitch chat for more information. And if you want to just see what uh, Games Done Quick is up to, uh, up to rather, use exclamation point links in Twitch chat for all things GDQ. And that's how you can stay up to date with uh, but without further ado, yes, we are in the Awfully Disney episode tonight, and uh, we're going to be kicking it off with a, uh, I think, a, an underappreciated, maybe even, I would say, gem of a game, which is uh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and it's going to be run by Player Game SK. Go ahead and take it away. Um, so, uh, hello, I'm uh, PGSK, aka Mikey, and... Yeah, this is Atlantis The Lost Empire for PS1 and uh, there's like a five minute tutorial level where uh, there's plenty of space to talk so I guess uh, we could just jump right into it. Sounds great, whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm gonna back out of the options menu and uh, three, two, one. Go. <clears throat> Best of luck. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, as I said, the first level is... Also, uh, first of all, I should mention that the dialogue audio is gonna be a bit rough because uh, I'm playing this on a PS2 on fast disk speed and for some reason the, the dialogues just get ruined buy it so uh hopefully it's not too bad it's it shouldn't really be an issue past this level because most other dialogue is skippable <clears throat> just for, for some reason uh with more things he needs to show a grown man how to do a uh, basic movement stuff that that seems uh, uh, real Oh, yeah, just some basic actions. Now I, now I have to ask, as somebody who plays this game, it seems like you've held record in several of the categories, if not all of them at some point. Is, was, is this a game that you played because you enjoyed the movie? Just something that you played as a child? What, what, uh, what spawned the, uh, the love for this game? Uh, I played it as a kid. We we had it on uh, PS1 and played it a lot with my brother. And uh, it was back when we didn't even have like internet or anything, so we would get stuck on. And well, like English is not my native language, mm -hmm. and I didn't speak it back then. So like even when the game specifically told me what to do, I I wouldn't know because. I didn't understand, so I, I got stuck on some really basic stuff. That's alright, I think we've all been there. Especially with these older games, they can be quite confusing. It. Yeah. Okay, missed. I can break that chest uh, before he starts talking, but kind of missed it. Not much of an issue. It's kind of hard to uh, like lose a lot of time on this level because it's not very eventful, to say the least. We like for the most part just well. I would say listen to dialogue, but as you can hear, uh, there's 
there's not much we can listen to. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it does make uh, loading screens faster, so uh, there's no reason not to use it for speedruns. Just like, like most PS1 speedruns use uh, fast disk speed on PS2, I'm pretty sure. I'm really not a fan of all this dialogue not being uh, skippable, especially since the second level has a really hard trick that's kind of RNG, and uh, I reset to it a lot uh, <laughs> when I'm like grinding. So, okay. Yeah. Games that have such a <laughs> brutal could... start can take up so much time. Just to have to reset on the the first main trick you do, yeah, that's always brutal. There are a few games that I've seen like that. Yeah, the because uh, I remember when I started running this game, there was like one uh, big trick, which is still like the biggest trick in the run because. Uh, well, this is all levels, so we don't actually skip any levels, but in any percent uh, there's a trick that skips two entire levels that are some of the longest levels in the game, so uh, it's like that skip has existed for a while, but uh, after I started playing the game I, <laughs> I found an out-of-bounds strat in pretty much every level, except for some of the auto scrollers, which obviously there's not much to exploit there. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I think uh, if I do say so myself, that I've managed to make the game like pretty interesting uh, to speedrun because like. Before it was basically uh, like about hitting one trick. Now there's there's uh, a, like a major trick in most of the levels. Speaking of which, uh, we are coming up on the first one. There is no guarantee I'm gonna get it because it's uh, it's it's pretty difficult, but I'll try. So I'm gonna slow down here, because that allows me to skip that cutscene a little quicker. I think it makes too much of a difference, but I think... Okay, now let me try position this barrel. Okay, should be right. Uh, the worst thing is that I... I can only push that barrel forward, so if I push it too far forward, I'm not able to pull it uh, back. So, yeah, but basically what I'm trying to do is uh, run in between the barrel and the smoke and get pushed out uh, the wall on the right, because then I can... Uh, uh, use an interesting mechanic uh, to skip uh, pretty much the entire level, but yeah, I hope I can get it. Just gonna... I picked up the first aid kit, so I have a few more attempts, but yeah, it's kind of RNG to be to be honest, there is not too much I can do apart from positioning the barrel correctly. And I'm pretty sure it sh like it should be good. Should be possible, but yeah, I'm just gonna if it ends up K 
killing me, then uh, then I'll have to do the level normally because uh, most of the time, like something seems to change that it doesn't allow you to to do the trick anymore, and it will just push you over to the other side of uh, the smoke. Yeah, we have a few more attempts. I might have to actually do the level. Come on, Milo, show us normally. how it's done. Yeah, I can see how frustrating yeah. it is because it seems like it shoots you back. Oh! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get it. Now I'm falling through the map. If it's like not too obvious, I'm gonna try and focus on getting it. Then I'll try to explain it. If that's okay, <clears throat> because it's pretty difficult to get back in bounds. There we go. Okay, I made it on pretty much the last attempt wow. I had. So <laughs> incredible. I, I'm not saving too much overdoing the level uh, normally, but still saving like. A minute and a half almost so I mean <laughs> I got to show off the trick so uh, I'm glad but yeah basically uh, what happened there is so uh, when you're out of bounds like that and you either open your inventory or pause and unpause the game for some reason it makes you start falling through the map and since there's like no death trigger because obviously you're never meant to be there you can uh, fall through the map and for some reason you you like loop through uh, at the bottom and start falling back from the top so you can make your way to the end of the level and then uh, you just have to get to the correct spot to clip back in bounds which uh, it's harder than it seems because the physics there is like really slippery, but yeah, I like uh, you have more attempts uh, at that because as I said, you can pretty much just keep falling through the map uh, infinitely as far as I'm concerned. So yeah. Uh, I, to be honest, I, I didn't have much hope for that after so many, like, because uh, I spent a while there, I, th that would probably be a reset already, but if I was doing actual attempts, but, but yeah. Yeah, if you, uh, if you had to guess, how, many, how often does that trick fail when you're trying to do attempts? Like, how often do you have to reset there? I mean, like a lot, because uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll just push the uh, barrel uh, too far, and that's like immediately a reset. Because as I said, you can't uh, pull it back. So, uh, and there's like a specific spot that I aim for, and then just slightly more forward. And sometimes the slight input just decides to be a big chunky input, and <laughs> and it it ends up uh, not uh, being able to work. So yeah, it's it's definitely uh, like I'd say it's one of the worst strats that I currently do in in this run. But there's plenty more. <laughs> Much to look forward to, I guess. Yeah, but uh, this is, uh, if it wasn't obvious enough, uh, mostly or pretty much an auto scroller uh, after the boss fight. One thing, I guess, is that when you spam the X button, you shoot a little faster than just holding it. So that's useful for the boss fight, but uh, other than that, you are pretty much just trying not to die, which is uh, which is pretty difficult here when you like know the level. So 
Yeah, and we are pretty much at the end because this is the last collectible. Uh, if anyone's wondering, that's uh, a 20 end for a 20s. And uh, getting all of those letters unlocks a cutscene for the level in uh, bonus features. But since we are not doing uh, Hando, we don't really uh, care about unlocking bonuses. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> uh, so a cove now. If this was any percent, we would be doing a big skip that I mentioned before, that skips two whole levels. But since uh, this is all levels, uh, we are gonna be doing set two levels and then doing the skip. <clears throat> so, yeah, because uh, this is like pretty much uh, any percent with uh, two extra levels uh, like <laughs> I thought it made sense to because especially since there were some cool strats found in these levels it made sense to have a category that actually plays them even though you don't have to at all Obviously, Hando has to play them, because you have to get the collectibles, but... Uh, but, like, any percent doesn't. So, yeah, uh, this was the first time I swapped characters, <laughs> now that I think about it. Mm. I should be swapping characters in... Uh, Ulysses, but since we did the uh, skip, we didn't really have to. And yeah, as you can see, uh, she has a different uh, weapon that, like a long range gun, that obviously Milo wouldn't be able to shoot the stalactite like that, or these. Does she also move faster, or is that my imagination? Uh, give me a second. <sighs> okay, that was close. <laughs> That's like an optimization I came up with like a day ago. Just skipping uh, two platforms there instead of one. I think that's two platforms. But uh, yeah, I don't think she should move faster, but maybe? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really uh, like... Uh, I know there's uh, jump height differences between some of the characters and I guess speed, but I don't know if that char character in particular is any different to Milo, uh, apart from the weapon, obviously. Okay, grab the ledge, please. But yeah, basically we have to... Uh, change characters around in different places because there's stuff that uh, like only a particular character can do like shooting uh, the symbols uh, for the platforms or the uh, stalactites uh, like Milo wouldn't be able to do that now this a 20 and thing that somehow makes the floor just crumble. <laughs> uh, the only Milo can do that because he like speaks a 20 in, I think, kind of. I think that's how it was in the movie. Yeah, I forget. It's been <coughs> Is... a bit since I've seen it, but now I want to go back and watch it now. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of the movie, the cutscenes in between the levels so uh, you may have noticed that it's basically parts of the movie. So that's... I mean, it's uh, not all of it is. I know there's one cutscene that's like uh, two parts of the movie, like 
uh, meshed together, kind of. It's like uh, shortened, uh, it's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, we have, a, we have a, a little chase here. Luckily, for the most part, we can just jump along this wall on the left. Except for one part, which is coming up right here. You can jump right over that, but sometimes you get stuck on it and uh, it may be too late. So it's best to play it safe and just avoid it entirely. But yeah, now we are coming up on another funny little out of bounds strat that hopefully isn't gonna take too many attempts. <coughs> it's it's not one of my favorites to say the least, but hopefully a little more forgiving than the last. Yeah. Ah, come on. Basically, I'm trying to clip into the statue there. I have a funny story about this, but I'm first gonna try and get it uh, before I talk about that. <sighs> Come on. Oh geez, yeah, that one's particularly brutal because to have to reset it, you have to go so far out of your way too. Yeah, uh, because uh, uh, yeah, I can't climb back up as this character, so, yeah. Okay, there we go. Now I got the compass. And, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, I discovered that this was possible as a kid by a complete accident. Uh, basically, the intended way to do uh, the level is to get either this guy or the or Audrey, which is the girl with the gun that we played as before, and go into like a dark room uh, where we have to find a lever and then continue from there. And what we used to do uh, as uh, like with my brother basically was. Uh, get the, the mole guy at that same radio and then jump down and one day as I jumped down I jumped straight inside of the statue so <laughs> obviously like back then I didn't uh, know how the out of bounds stuff like works so uh, I thought I was stuck but uh, if that didn't happen, I honestly don't think I would ever, like, think of trying something like that. So, it's funny how years later that knowledge uh, helped in, uh, like, basically coming up with a speedrun strat. <clears throat> anyway, this is the second uh, skippable level. that uh, yeah we pretty much have to do like almost entirely uh, there's uh, some funny strats at the end but for the most part we just have to do it uh, regularly so <clears throat> Okay, uh, now we are gonna get another character that we haven't used yet, that's Winnie, the, the demolitions guy, as the tutorial at the start explained to us. Okay, Lava well, Monster didn't notice me, that's nice. Okay, that jump there is a little tight, but 
it helps because now when I'll go back the platform is still here if I used it on my way there it would sink down into the lava and then I would uh, either have to wait or make the risky jump back and <laughs> honestly I feel like it's uh, slightly easier uh, on my way there so yeah that's like a tiny little thing So we blow those up. Now we have to go over here first because to progress we need to. This might be a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that's a little too far away, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, to progress the level we need two red uh, crystals. We already have one. Up here is the second one. <clears throat> so one thing uh, that I don't really understand, like for anyone who's seen the movie, you know that Milo is pretty much like the weakest character out of all of them. But for some reason in this game, they they like it gave him the ability to climb and to like push uh, big objects which uh, doesn't really make sense yeah not then with those characters <laughs> <laughs> yeah and there's there's characters that should be able to do those things and they they, they just aren't so it's just weird and like some of the books that you may see lying around they are like tutorial books pretty much where uh milo's voice actor basically tells uh, us how to play the game and in one of them he says something like agile characters like milo and uh vinny can push objects or something like that and it's like I don't really think Milo's too agile, if you ask me, but... <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> who, who am I to... say that? Okay. I, I kinda missed, but... Uh, <laughs> that was a calculated uh, snipe. Yeah, RNG manipulation. That's... <laughs> yeah, so here, this is... I guess meant to be like a puzzle, but you pretty much just get every other one of these and and can just go. Uh, it it's always the same, so uh, yeah, it's not hard to remember. But for anyone wondering, if you get the wrong one there, the head in the middle shoots a fireball at you, which funnily enough can be pretty easily dodged. So. If you are like bored, you can just mess around with it. Anyway, the, the, here's a large area where we should normally be doing a ton of stuff, but we can just skip right past it and go towards the end, since all of that is just to get the fire gem, which we don't actually need. Ah, come on. Okay, there's. There's a fast cycle I can make here, uh, where I can reach that elevator, uh, but I pretty much have to go through that part perfectly. And since that guy hit me, I couldn't get it anymore. So, ah, it's alright, it's not too bad. Pro like, loses a couple seconds definitely, but... <clears throat> Yeah, we are coming up on another out of bounds strat. That's I'm gonna grab a checkpoint there just in case because this one is a little scary. <clears throat> so I'm meant to jump over to a platform here and go that way, but hopefully, I can. 
Nice, okay. Oh. I can jump I can jump out of bounds because there should be an invisible wall there, but there isn't, so <laughs> so I can do that. And now I'm just making my way towards the end of the level. Where I'm just gonna land right into it. Nice, okay, that's uh, that's great that I got that first try, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be saving time with that. I'm pretty sure you have one attempt at it, otherwise you won't be saving time over just uh, doing uh, that part normally. But, <clears throat> yeah, so normally we are meant to get two gems from each of the trial levels so we can get inside of a cave here to open up a door and get a part for a machine yeah what we can do is just clip out of bounds once again <laughs> and just make our way to the end of the level I'm detecting a pattern, I feel like. As long as you can get out of bounds, you can usually get to the end. Yeah, but uh, there's, there's like two levels that have out of bounds where you can't really do anything useful with them. Uh, and that's Whitmore's Mansion, the first level, funnily enough. I tried so hard to find something useful there, but Unfortunately, they really did their home homework <laughs> uh, to like prevent you from uh, skipping anything. So that one doesn't seem to uh, <laughs> like use usable. And yeah, uh, I was. I was gonna say something uh, about... Oh yeah, uh, shoutouts to my buddy Saiyans, uh, my my co-runner, uh, my guy who unfortunately couldn't make comment commentary, uh, because he came up with, uh, with the compass thing, like Oh, we used to, uh, or well, I mean, I came up with most of the out of bounds strats, and it never really dawned on me that we have the compass that we can use to like navigate uh, out of bounds uh, until science was like, hey, uh, why don't we use this? And it's it's made a lot of the tricks so much easier. Yeah, because you you like just point the arrow. Uh, I literally have notes in my splits, like where am I supposed to point the arrow of the compass? <clears throat> Definite shout out to you, Sands. If you happen to watch the last episode of Awfully Silly, Sands was running the Grinch uh, right before Christmas. Time. So uh, yeah, we're a big fan. We're a big fans of. It. Yeah. Also, uh, fun fact. Uh, I actually managed to find an like out of bounds in this level, uh, believe it or not, like a few days ago, but it doesn't seem like uh, it would be too useful. I like maybe it could save a couple seconds, but it's uh, I was considering uh, going for it, uh, maybe, but. Uh, it's it's too risky and honestly I think I might be on a pretty decent pace right now so yeah I, I'm just not gonna risk it don't blame you don't Sorry. need new routing on the fly <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah, uh, you. I guess you can kind of save time here by like cutting corners a little bit, 
Uh, but yeah, there's nothing. Uh, as long as you don't die, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. I I remember not being great at this level as a kid, but uh, I, I mean I've played it a lot since then, so it's kind of it's kind of like a relaxing. Uh, level after all the out of bounds strats that we have to do uh, in the previous ones. And yeah, speaking of, we are right at the end. Okay. Now we are gonna have a, a platforming level that doesn't actually have crazy out of bounds strats for once. Uh, or, well, it it does, in fact, but this level works a little differently than the other ones. Basically, there's a death uh, zone, a death trigger, uh, where if you fall off the map, you die, so it makes the out of bounds stuff uh, a lot harder. It it's still possible in some places, but it's definitely not worth it. Uh, RTA at the moment. It might be used in uh, like a test if one gets made eventually, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be used RTA anytime soon. <clears throat> because it's really scary and wouldn't even... Okay, that's a nice little thing there. So, uh, if I, like, uh, jump next to some walls, like, straight up, and then start holding uh, towards the wall, sometimes it just, like, slides me all the way to the top, which is only really useful in that part. But it is a thing, and there's there's a funny one actually, uh, out of bounds in Whitmore's mansion, where it uh, drags you up like a big wall, uh, which I only discovered recently. But obviously, as I said, out of bounds in that level is not really useful, so it's more of just like a funny little thing that exists. But, yeah, uh, we are basically just trying not to die here and avoid these guys as much as possible. Sometimes it's difficult because they are really good at aiming, believe it or not. Like, okay, may maybe not that one, but are these lizards? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's it's really rare that I don't get hit by at least one of them because uh, yeah, they they're just really good at their job. But yeah, you could have seen there was a room with four doors, but uh, two of them were locked actually, and we will come back to that. But. Now we are coming up on yet another <laughs> out of bounds strat that skips an entire level. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long because it's it's a funny one that was discovered by a runner accidentally doing it and then of course yours truly had to lab it out I like the mighty fat yeah that was really good now hopefully I can make my way to the end Ah, uh, 
okay, that's unfortunate, but uh, I can just wait and when I loop back around, uh, I can land right, uh, right into the ending. Uh, I was kind of lost and uh, it was like too late when I got where I was meant to get, so the wall stopped me uh, from getting inbounds, but uh, as I mentioned, you can pretty much a loop through the map infinitely, so it's uh, it's not ideal, but it works. But yeah, that 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 definitely isn't as easy as <laughs> as it looked there. That was kind of lucky that I got it first try. It usually takes a couple tries at least. But yeah, now we are back in Outer Atlantis, but we are starting at a different spot. And we'll also be leaving through a different spot. Uh, for anyone wondering, yes, I did find a way to, to reach the second ending early, but unfortunately the game just gets really confused and it doesn't let you progress, so it doesn't seem like uh, doesn't seem like you can skip uh, the revisit because yeah, it would play this cutscene and then cut back to gameplay, and you are pretty much stuck there. Which is like uh, I I don't know why it works that way, but I guess it checks for whether you actually completed uh, Inner Atlantis before letting you progress. Uh, I thought it would work since in uh, like the trial levels you don't have to actually finish, and it still lets you complete Cove, but. I guess it just works differently. Anyway, <clears throat> this 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 one is uh, sure is something. It's it's packed with out of bounds strats. So yeah, um, gonna try and focus a little bit. So if you have something. You wanna say? Feel free. And uh, while we're letting PGSK focus up a little bit here, just wanted to remind everyone, of course, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick with a GDQ 2023 class, including the hotel cancellation costs. So please consider subscribing to help support Games Done Quick. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, I uh, basically these doors uh, open and close just slow enough for us to be able to exploit them and pretty much uh, get out of bounds uh, through any of them, which is really useful in breaking this level, like I'm skipping huge parts of the level here. Just need to be careful because there's a lot of spots which can essentially softlock you. Okay, got... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it got me a little scared there because uh, normally I just land right Onto the, onto the platform I landed on, but luckily it worked out. Uh, what? Okay, I, <laughs> I've never had this happen before. Okay, as long as I'm still here. I just... Okay, there is a way to get back in bounds, 
you just need to land on something. I don't know why I just fell straight through the ground there, but... Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little lost here. Okay, this is not what I had in mind, but we are back in bounds, so... Uh, yeah, I I mean, sure. Yeah, the best, the best planned runs always have to go awry somehow, so... Oh, yeah. Call that the GDQ luck. It's yeah, it's not too ideal though, because uh, ideally I want to have an item here that I was meant to pick up in that room. Uh, so I need to go back there. I mean, if anything, I was <laughs> able to make my way back in bounds because... Uh, I mean, worst case scenario, I have a memory card prepared with, uh, like, uh, plenty of backup saves. So, like, uh, worst case, I would use that, but... Yeah, I, I've never had it launch me back out of bounds like that. Not gonna lie. But... Yeah, I need to make my way back into the into the room. Yeah, that's that's what I meant because there's some spots that just make you fall through the map like on their own. You don't even have to like pause the game or anything. Hence why you kind of have to know, but since I never, like, got to that place <laughs> where it launched me, I I wasn't really prepared for that. But, yeah, that's, that's the item we wanted from that room. Okay, at least this cooperated. That was, that was swanky, I was not expecting that little clip there. Yeah, as I said, we can exploit, uh, like, pretty much all of these doors uh, to clip out of bounds like that. On some of them, it's a little scarier than others, because sometimes you just want to get into a specific, like, either the left or the right one, and if it clips you into the other one, it can be a little scary, but yeah. Unfortunately, I guess that's PB pace dead, but... Ooh, I know you said you're on good pace. Is. I didn't know PB pace was on the table still. Dang, that's that's brutal. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, I, I could have done another out of bounds there, but... Uh, that's one that can be really scary if I creep into the wrong door, so... I'm just gonna... Uh, do this normally. So, uh, yeah, we basically walked past the end of uh, this level a couple times now. Uh, but since the trigger is not there yet, we have to fill up these fountains first. Okay, so the enemies have spawned here, that's not a huge fan of that, but... Okay, please... Okay, cool. So the last one is a little broken. Fortunately, we have... Let me line up. Cool, okay. We have our ways of water that we can fill it up with from Out of Bounds. And now we make our way straight to the ending. Ooh. 
Oof, okay, yeah, that was rough. That, that was a couple minutes. That's all right. It was impressive yeah. how you were able to kind of save that, though, as opposed to, like, you know, kind of throwing in the towel and saying, like, oh, well, restart the level or get a backup save. So, well done on that. To yeah, the worst thing is you can't really restart the level in this game because it only allows you to quit to menu, like, the main menu. So, I would have to, like, if I was really lost and had no way to recover, I would have to use a backup save, which would make the run invalid, but at least I could finish still. But yeah, that wasn't the backup I was thinking of uh, in that level, but uh, ended up working up, uh, working out, I mean, and of course I do this first try after that. <laughs> uh, all of these, all, yeah. all of these tricks first try just onto you a little bit. Yeah, the 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 speed running experience. So yeah, we essentially made our way to the end of the level, but this is like one of the levels that has like the end of the level is at the start. But we have to like fulfill certain requirements to be able to uh, finish the level. And in this one's case, it's uh, uh, finishing a broken mosaic by collecting uh, three parts and putting them back together. So we have to do that. <clears throat> But, yeah, uh, this one I also kind of figured out uh, as a kid. Uh, I know I was messing at the... because, like, the end of the level is near uh, the start, as I said, and I was messing with it there, and I think I figured out that you can get out of bounds, so when I was like looking for tricks and stuff, I like remembered that. It was like, hmm, maybe we could use that and so we did. It's not as easy as it looked there, just just saying. It's it's actually kind of difficult and can be really bad, but obviously I I guarantee you, if I got a uh, secret swim, like, uh, perfectly, this wouldn't be as easy, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have it all, classic. right? Classic. <laughs> you can't have all the yeah. tricks going really well. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's a goat, so, <laughs> cool. At least hey. I have, like, uh, at least the game gave me something after that. And uh, now it's like that was the last uh, difficult strat of the run. Now it's an auto scroller and the last boss fight. So after that, it's it's like yeah, there's nothing really difficult coming up to to put it simply, unless I crash this uh, flying Atlantean thing somewhere over here, but uh, hopefully that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, apart from that little mishap in Secret Swim, I would say the run went pretty well. I got to show off pretty much all of the strats that I wanted to. And most of them went uh, about as well as can be expected. Yeah. Secret Swim is usually pretty consistent for me, but uh, obviously you have to have uh, a little that never happened before thing on a marathon run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a GDQ run if something doesn't happen. If something happens that hasn't happened before, I 
<laughs> something, I mean, something sure has to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, since I'm kind of doing an auto, auto scroll right now, if anyone's uh, like maybe interested in giving this game a shot, uh, there's I have a couple of like tutorials and stuff. Uh, I might need to update some of them because some of the strats might be a little outdated uh, by now. But uh, yeah, you can. Check out uh, speedrun.com slash ATLE for Atlantis The Lost Empire. And yeah, we'll definitely be happy to see new runners. Because, <clears throat> as I said, the. Uh, like, I'm, I'm really happy about the fact that even though some of these threads are maybe not the funniest thing to like grind uh it's definitely uh like great to have been able to contribute so much to a speed game <laughs> to like come up with so many strats and stuff and actually make the speed run uh, like really interesting if i say so myself Alright, so the final boss fight consists of two parts. The first one is making uh, Helga, who likes to do that recently, like a lot. She never really did, but recently she started to, I don't know why. But yeah, basically we need her to shoot uh, four of these engines. As she shoots the last one, she just collapses and dies for some reason. Classic. <laughs> she, she just can't handle the shame, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, now we need to hit Rourke. Uh, the uh, actually bad guy, even though we thought he was a good guy at the start. The classic twist. And as his uh, health reaches zero, that's where uh, time is, so it's gonna come up pretty shortly. Okay, and time. Well done. <clears throat> 55, 53, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that looks about right. Well, very, very well done there. This is a, a t funny story. The, the reason why I wanted to pick this game was uh, my my partner is a huge, huge fan of this game. She was talking about how much she played it as a kid. I had recently gotten her a copy for Christmas. And then I went and looked at the run and saw all of these incredible out of bounds that you do. And I was like, wow, this, this needs to be on the show. So I, I am very thankful that you were able to come here and put on an incredible showcase. Yeah, I uh, really want to thank you for uh, like contacting me and uh, asking me to be on. I, I'm, I'm honored, honestly. <laughs> oh well, uh, honor's uh, honor's for sure. Well done. And yeah, I was. Uh, it was great to be able to show this game off because I, I don't think. It has been showed off on many marathons uh, so far. And yeah, as I said, I think the run was like, was, was more than I could have hoped for, honestly. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, and yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, yeah, here we have the last uh, cutscene, and then and there's the credits, <laughs> and that's that pretty much. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know uh, if you uh, if you wanna like check me out, then uh, I'm 
on twitch.tv slash playergamesk. I, I play this game uh, a bunch recently and also a lot of other games. I like, uh, I don't really focus on like one game uh, all the time. I, I play a bunch of stuff, so <laughs> yeah. I'll appreciate uh, all the uh, like if you will stop by or anything. Yes, absolutely. Everyone, be sure to give Player Game SK some love after this incredible run. Anything else you want to say before we get set up for the next one? Uh, I mean, uh. Shoutouts to uh, the uh, Czechoslovak speedrunning community, uh, where I made a bunch of friends, and uh, yeah, I like uh, thanks to them. I can or like I have a lot of motivation to uh, to do all these runs and uh, stuff so yeah uh, also uh, shout outs to the Atlantis community for being great and all and uh, the yeah I, 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 I I'm rambling here so <laughs> that, that that's it for me awesome well thank you so much again player game SK for joining us and for everyone out there we're going to take a very quick wellness break be sure to stretch walk around uh take some time to uh look in any oceans and see if you can find any underwater civilizations and we will see you in just a few short moments with our next run see ya All right, welcome back to Awfully Silly. Tonight, we are, of course, enjoying a plethora of excellent, uh, excellent or quote unquote excellent, depending on how you look at it, uh, movie tie in games to uh, some Disney films. And we have a, uh, another one coming up for you right after. Just wanted to remind everyone as well if you happen to be in the future watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like, you can also go on over to twitch.tv slash games done quick. If you're interested in looking at our live content, that's going to start most weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. We have shows all throughout the week. Uh, that's what this hot fix content is, is everything between the events. We have uh, constant shows running, so feel free to come and check us out. But without further ado, I think it's time we jump into our second game of tonight. Tonight, we have, of course, for you, Monsters, Inc., and this is going to be run by Rubix. So go ahead. Floor is yours. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I guess we'll just hop right into it. Can I? Sounds you know, good. Whenever you're ready. Countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. Thank Lock. you. Monsters, Inc., this game is about 15 minutes long with about uh, four or five minutes of cutscenes. Um, also, notably, um, did you know that this game is a two-player game? Not really. But if you plug a controller into the two-player slot and uh, you set the, uh, the thumbsticks up and press L1 on the uh, second controller, Sully just starts to ascend. So you'll see that really quick here. Oops, wrong way. You can start to move during that cutscene. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where you're going, but uh, yeah. Just gonna clip into this elevator a little bit earlier than we should be. Didn't need to get that. Gonna grab this manual for one of the workers here. And that's the first level. Welcome to another loading screen. <laughs> um, yeah, so if I wanna show off this a little bit. This, uh, I have rubber bands on my sticks here to keep them up and I'm pressing this uh, my L1 button to get Sully to fly. So I'll be um, tapping it fast and also holding it for more height. If you tap it fast, you get to move faster forward a little bit. Um, so as you'd imagine, uh, you get to fly to the end of a lot of these levels. Um, not all of them. 
but there's also a couple of tricks. Like we get we skip the entire final level, but we'll you know I'm talking too much into the future, even though this game is is you know a quarter uh, or a yeah a quarter cut or loading screens. Uh -oh. This is the mail room. This is the longest uh, the long the level with the longest flying in it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna skip all of this platforming that you see around me. And uh, we're just gonna hold L2 or L1 on our player two controller to get up to this switch. Then we're gonna yell into it to turn it on. Then we're gonna skip a little bit more platforming by going over here. Monster coming through. One jolly coming and I think this is the only out of bound. No, this is one of two out of bounds in the game. So um, normally you're supposed to get a key for that mail part, mail train, and ride it through here. It's an auto scroller, um, but we're not going to do that because it's slow. So we're gonna use Sully's flying ability to uh, get to the end of the level a little bit faster here. So um, there are parts of this level that are a little bit tricky to navigate um, because the screen just kind of goes black but um, it's more or less a straight line. It's just a matter of uh, getting there fast. So I don't want to get too high here because that's kind of when the screen starts to go black. So I'm going to let Sully drop a little bit when I'm tapping, but I don't want to go too low because the tracks are electrified and there are like death planes out of bounds here in certain spots. I'm not too sure exactly where, but when you come to this bend, if you're too low, you can get hit by it. So I just uh, better safe than sorry, that's for sure. So we're just going to fly into this room and yell into this switch. And uh, yeah, there's a door you're supposed to break down, but we're just going to run through it. Oh, also, you can fly during any of these uh, like little animations that are in engines. So. <laughs> Asserting dominance over Boo, right? Just floating right, right. over. Right. <laughs> um, speaking of Boo, this next level is the longest level. It's about three and a half minutes long. <laughs> um, yeah, the next longest is like two, almost three minutes. But it's Sully. Oh no, sorry, not this one. The no, the one after this. This is also this. This next one's a short level. It's a fly to the end type of level. You can see Sully kind of running in place. So we're just gonna skip through the whole level. Tap fast to get over here fast. We're gonna have to hold one a little bit to get the height, and then we'll just finish off it. Finish off this platforming here. Uh. And we'll, you know, let Sully float off a little bit here. All right, that one was short. Now, that, see, see, here comes another, you know, loading loading screen because there, there's not enough of these. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the runs, and when I say a lot, I think four out of the six runs on the leaderboard for this game are on PS3. So this game is on the PS3 store, but um, it's a little buggy, and um, like the running is is kind of weird. So I'm gonna pick up Boo, and uh, I can't run when I have Boo on my uh, back. So we're just gonna take a little bit of a stroll down to the second floor of the apartment, scare the elevator to open the open the door, because that's how you do it in the monster world. Um, but yeah, anyway, PS3 is um, a little bit faster with the loads, but the problem is that it's, uh, um, when you menu in the, P in the PS3, um, player, the second controller can also, like, control the menuing. So it gets a little, sh uh, iffy when you're trying to, like, set everything up, because with the rubber bands, it doesn't make it too easy to, uh, properly get everything in the right spot unless you, uh, I don't know, mess with it a bunch. So we're going to drop Boo off and now we can run. Um, so this level is basically just collecting different like uh, pieces for Mike. Um, 
scare the door again to open it and we're gonna go to the bottom floor so um in this level there are these yellow guys i don't remember what they're called in the movie i'm not gonna lie but uh, they're the ones who arrest you if you've touched a, a, a human um 2319 yeah 2319 guys they uh they run on a global cycle so um depending on how fast you get here in the game um or in the level i should say the faster uh, or the diff they'll be different <laughs> is what i'm trying to say um but you actually want to get caught by them when you first uh uh when you get the tile that you're trying to pick up and if you get here fast enough the door is still open so we'll take that um now it the for the first uh, for the first tile that we come down here for, it's not super crucial. You do lose a little bit of time if you're slow, but if you're fast enough, you can get in front of that guy, which I was just barely fast enough to do, thankfully. But if you um, if you're not fast enough, then you have to wait for him to go around, or you'll get sent back to uh, uh, Mike's apartment or Sully's apartment. I don't know if they're roommates or not. <laughs> I just run the game. Uh, <laughs> oh, get off of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that wastes around 30 to 40 seconds, depending on how far you are. So now that I picked up that piece, I'm going to look for this guy. I'm going to talk to Mike one more time. He's going to tell me to go into the attic or the roof tops or whatever. You know, float up this ladder because it's a little bit faster. Good cycles on those. This fall over here. So normally if you die in the mud in this level, you get sent back to where you fell from. But if you die in the mud out of bounds, you get sent back to Mike. So it's a little bit faster there. And uh, that's Sully's apartment. Also, if you look on the right here, you can see Sully's <laughs> Sully. Around. <laughs> that would be my favorite part of running the game, just <laughs> seeing where I can float to in cutscenes. It's a lot of fun. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a short little game. I've done, you know, I work from home, so it, during downtime, I can just do runs of this game, which is kind of fun. Um, and uh, the runs, I think, world record is 1059. I have in like 11 or like a low 12 or something like that. Um, load times are removed, so it's a little bit tricky to calculate the times. But um, yeah, there's not there's not too much competition on the boards. It's just kind of like one of those fun games that I know I I played it as a kid, so I just picked it up. Um, what I was telling um, producers, I guess before uh, we went live, is um, a bunch of my friends in the Jack and Daxter speedrunning community started running Scream Team, and I was like, well, this is the Monsters, Inc. game I played when I was a kid, so I, I picked it up and started doing runs of it. Absolutely. Also, shout out to your uh, excellent Jack 2 run past AGDQ. Well thank done. you, thank you. I appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Oh, and this is a garbage compactor level. We just basically skip all the platforming, fly to the end, you know the trail, you know the drill at this point. Um, <laughs> this next level, though, this is when uh, Sully gets outcasted to the uh, the snow world. Um, there's actually a piece of uh, tech, like movement tech, that uh, I do. I don't know if the other runs on the leaderboard do it as well, um, but when you're when you're running on ice. You uh, you slip when you reach the end of the running cutscene. So if you just do the first part of the run and then um, jump towards the end of the animation, you won't do you won't slip. I don't know how much faster it is, but it is definitely a little bit faster than just walking or trying to run. Like uh, this is what happens if you just let him run; he starts slipping which isn't too much slower, but you lose control of him. And um, it's, uh, it's hard to kind of go where you want to go. Um, there's also a strat over here 
you might be able to notice the game kind of slow down, slows down a little bit. Um, so I'll turn the camera around uh, at this point. It's kind of hard to run in a straight line towards where you are trying to go because the camera wants to be behind Sully. Um, but it does uh, it does make the game run a little bit quicker. So I try to do it at least as much as I can. And there is a bridge there, but we're just going to fly over here instead because it's more fun that way. Now, if you had to guess, without all of Soli's flying shenanigans, how long would this run? Um, so the world record is just under 20 minutes, if I remember correctly. So there is a, um, a no player two controller category. I haven't done it personally, um, but it looks like fun. The oh, little platforming mistake, you know. When you have uh, when you have God mode on your second controller, it's hard not to use it. You can't ever make it this two bag. <laughs> yeah. Really, not anything you can't recover from in this game. It's kind of uh, it's a it's a relatively easy run. So if you're looking for a short run that's easy and has a lot of furry monsters in it, well, I guess this one only has one big furry monster, but. Hey, at least you got one of the two. What else could you exactly. need? Yeah. Alright, and that's that level. Um, we have two more levels left. Um, the first one is... Well, I'll let you guess. <laughs> it's pretty quick, as you'd imagine. <laughs> I would think so. Um... The fly to the end strat definitely works out. Though I will say, the very last level, you don't get to fly to the end. So, you know, there's a really, really cool strat um, that I'll use to beat the last level pretty quickly. So, but for now, we're just going to move over to this little railing here, run into here. You know, that's that level. All right, final boss, or you know, whatever you want to call it. I don't. I don't think there's an actual fight in here. It's, it's just flipping some switches. But what if I told you there's only one f switch you need to flip to finish this level? You'd probably believe me. I'd say no way. <laughs> oh, or you could say no way. That works too. Anyway, this <laughs> this door blocks you from pressing the uh, button, so I'm gonna run into it until I clip through it and then I'm going to activate the button and we're going to get ready on time uh, it'll end time is when the uh, screen fades out let's just make Sully do a little bit of a <laughs> just look inside a skeleton real quick and time <laughs> wow well done <laughs> Another cutscene from the movie too. Oh that yeah, seems yeah. Maybe you know might want to cut this. You the DMCA, uh, all that stuff. I don't know, but sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, sure. that's Monsters Inc. PS2. Well, well done. Thank you so much for running that for us. A nice, quick, short, and succinct one. Uh, where can where can the people find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash rrubix. I'm active on uh, Twitter.com slash rrubix as well. R R U B I K S. I stream Jack One Two. And three, Psychonauts 2, a um, bunch of games, do a lot of runs. So that's that's where you can find me. All right, wonderful. Any other plugs before we get set up for our third and final run of the year? Um, uh, Jack Speedruns, jackspeedruns.com, jackspeedruns.com slash Discord. Uh, love that community. They're great to me. They're probably here watching. Uh, but that's about it, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. That was a really fast run, considering all of the loads and the cutscenes. <laughs> for everyone uh, for everyone who is uh, sticking around with us, we have one more run for you on tonight's uh, Awfully Disney episode here. 
So uh, feel free to uh, get up, stretch your legs a little bit, stretch all eight or nine of your legs <laughs> like this guy on the on the screen, and we will see you here back in a few short moments. Thanks for having me. All right, welcome back to Awfully Silly. We have one more run for you tonight as a part of our Awfully Disney film tie-in kind of games. Before we do so, though, I just want to go over a couple of announcements. Uh, we have more Hotfix content coming out tonight and through the week, so be sure to take a look. Again, if you are looking at our Hotfix schedule, we start most nights at 7 p.m. Eastern, just like the show did tonight and uh, weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern, and they will tend to stick around for three to six hours uh, depending on how many shows we have that day. So be sure to take a look at the uh, at gamesnotquick.com, find out some more about what shows are being offered. Additionally, uh, Frost Fatales is coming up, um, and if you're interested, Frost Fatales 2023 prize submissions are now open. So go on over to gamesdonequick.com for more info, or you can use exclamation point prizes in the Twitch chat to submit your prizes, and we heavily encourage you to do so. We have so many great prizes as a part of these events. Well, I think it's time to get started with our third and last run, and I hope you really enjoyed Monsters, Inc., the last run we had, because, uh, surprise, we got some more Monsters, Inc. coming up here for you. We got Monsters, Inc. Scream Team, and that's going to be run by Bamford. It is all yours. All right, thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Bamford, uh, and I am joined by my commentator, Tims. Hello. Um... So let's just uh, jump right into the game. There's a little bit of a cutscene, and so we're just going to listen because this voice acting is pristine. <laughs> yeah, this is a legendary cutscene. This is it, buddy. The big time. Okay, that's all that we need to hear. This is it, buddy. The big uh. time. Okay. Uh, we do select Mike, um, and then timing starts when I get control of the character, so I'll count it in. All right. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to the mod. Okay, so this is orientation. Um, this is the most boring level in the entire game, as it should be, um, because it is a tutorial. Yep. Uh, so here we have to we have double jumps, and we're gonna get to our first skip, which is the mailbox skip. Got it. Nice. So there I jumped off the mailbox to skip a ledge grab. And then here is our next uh, obstacle, is boxes that we can break. Uh, Mike's rolling is fast and can, is an attack. So we use Mike to break all the boxes. And we'll be using Mike for most of the game uh, because his roll is the fastest movement. And there we have snacks and a token to pick up. The token that token is the extra life token. There's other tokens. We'll get to those. Tim, you want to explain this room? Um. Yeah. So what we do here is we uh, we use our our ground pound that we have as a uh, mic in, or in order to uh, destroy the boxes money. there. That's like the only time in this game, by the way, that those boxes show up. Just Pretty saying. Much. Uh, <laughs> And then you just saw me collect those oozes. So those oozes will fill up the meter on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, when that meter gets to a color, then we can scare that color nerve. So right now it's blue, which means we can scare blue. Are you prepared to hear booga a lot throughout this Yes, strong? there will be... You will not There will it. be a lot of boogas. There's like three voice lines per character for the scares. And we have to scare a lot of nerves. Yeah. Okay, so each one of those reds that I just picked up, so there's green and red oozes. The reds are worth five greens, so we really want to prioritize those to fill up the meter faster. Yeah, there are a lot of really cool routes that have to do with uh, prioritizing red over green. Yes. Uh, for orientation, we do have to collect every ooze because they give us exactly enough. And you can see as we get farther and farther in, and we have to fill up those longer meters. We have to collect more and more ooze. Uh, so trying to get the reds and filling it up as quickly as possible is good. That's the yellow, which is uh, three tiers, and this one's orange. 
Uh, yeah, there will be uh, red oozes uh, later on. I mean, there's yes. yeah, there's one more color after this. Uh, so, oh, I did not get it. Okay, that sucks. Um, so you'll notice every time that I scare a higher tier nerve, I have to mash more and more. Uh, so the oranges have four sets of mashing. Blues have one, greens have two, yellows have three. And this is the bronze medal. Hopefully we'll only see this four more times. <laughs> and you will see also uh, the not that burger with one eye. You'll hear that a lot also. Yes. Okay, these are the tokens in the game. These are the collectible items. Uh, there's ten of them in every level. This is how you get the silver medal. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Coming up here, uh, this is the uh, red nerve room. Um, but what you'll see Bam do here is actually um, a route that was just kind of, I mean, not really found, but has just recently been found to be viable for uh, PC. This is actually from the uh, PS2 version of the game, which is actually fairly distinct. Like, you can infinite jump in orientation, for instance, where you can't do on PC, among other issues. But Yeah, the, the different games, although they are the same base concept of the game, they redid all the physics, so the games act completely differently. It's very, very weird. Yeah, yeah there's a reason why it's power only. Okay, so there's three red nerves in every level. They don't even teach you about them, you just scare them. But I'm gonna go for a skip at the end of this. Kinda need to focus every time I go for it. I'll be going for it a whole lot. That works. Okay, so that was what we call a metal skip, or a pause skip. Uh, basically, I paused when I was in the scare animation. Uh, the final scare animation, and uh, it counts the nerve as being scared, uh, but we don't have to watch a cutscene of us collecting the metal. Yeah, but it should also be noted that they're much harder than you look because of how bad the pausing physics are. And right here, we'll see a pretty hard trick. Um, this is nowhere to skip. I'm um, having to go back here um, because there's a trampoline power up that there usually you allow you to. Uh, yep. So what Bam did there was he used the uh, Lego Man, I guess you could just call, um, to uh, propel himself using the double jump. Um, yeah, if you get hit while, so like if you, you jump that. while taking damage, then you get your jumps back. Yeah. It's interesting. So this is where like actual oh. routing comes into play because we have to get certain oozes and some of them are slow. Uh, yeah, this is the first instance of the infinite jump, which is one of the main things that Sully is able to do in this game that in some ways gives nice, an advantage nice. over Mike, but mm, mm, mm. yeah, that was pretty clean from Bam, but um, but we will see the infinite jump being used quite a few times throughout the run. Yeah. Um, Some are scarier than others. So. Yeah. That one is interesting because you can get the red ooze while infinite jumping if you time it correctly. So I'm glad that I did. Yep. Yeah, um, coming up here, uh, well, actually, we, we get the uh, green, we get the green nerve later, but right here would usually be where we would end the uh, run in this level for uh, any percent. But. Yeah, but since we have to route in three extra nerves, uh, the, the routes diverge a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I do come back to the green one uh, for a specific reason. That's because there is a red nerve down here. Mm -hmm. So I've already gotten all the tokens, and they didn't explain this in the orientation, but once you get all the tokens, it spawns in the last red nerve. So we have to get all the tokens first. Yeah, um, is... as you'll see, Bam, Bam will do a uh, pretty uh, 
a uh, death uh, warp. I, I oh, went yeah. early. Right. Yeah. Sorry, where are you? No, I was early on the pause there. So, uh, there is a window of when you can get the skip. Um, in this category, if you are early, uh, then you kind of soft lock yourself and it's almost impossible to complete the game. <laughs> um, if you're late, then you just won't get the skip. But I have to play it safe for marathon reasons, and if I think I'm early, I'm just going to unpause them. Yeah, there's a pretty small window in order to get them. And here is uh, a slope jump. Oh, um, this is another application of the easy part. jump. Uh, it is much, much harder than it looks, I'll tell you. Like, there we go. Yeah, like, this is all based on a certain timing where your jump's also nice. Yeah. yeah, there's like only maybe a two frame window to uh, gain height on the infinite jumping, and you have to be against a, sl uh, a slope of certain angles. But that skips us watching an animation of it putting a box down. And if you get it first try, it can save like 10 seconds, which is pretty big. There we go. So that one skipped the yeah. uh, gold medal, um, which doesn't save that much time because you only have to watch a little animation. Um, but when you skip the bronze ones, you save like 15 to 20 seconds for each one. So the time adds up very, very quickly. Yeah, and I don't know if we've mentioned this or not, but um, as you can see um, with the metal skips, uh, there is a, a text box and metal um, that basically is an indication for whether you got them or not. Um, and any percent, um, for instance, um, those are actually pretty vital for the uh, last level um, because it can cause quite a few bugs, I'll tell you that much. It can actually kill a run if you don't get a text box in like the last level of a certain level set. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's some very... It's a very weird trick. Um, it can save a ton of time or kill the entire run if you miss one. Uh, so it's very scary. Yeah. Constantly. Uh, here I'm gonna do another pause uh, and it's gonna look like a metal skip but it's not We've only scared three nerves. Uh, but there, it played and it started an animation when I paused. Uh, and now that door in front of me is open. Um, but also, I left and came back because it actually refreshes all the ooze, uh, which is very beneficial for us so that we can uh, rack up that ooze meter quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are quite a few. Of course, there are quite a few applications of this throughout the run. Especially towards the later yeah. levels. Um, and then each of these levels is routed very specifically, so that we have almost exactly enough ooze, or exactly enough. Like, if you miss one, then you're going to have to get some sort of backup, which is tough because uh, I don't really know if I know any backups, but it's fine. I know which uses I need to get. Alright, and this is nerve 5 of the park. So this, those spinning pops can suck, by the way. They can uh, hit you in the middle of a scare. Yeah. Okay, I actually just missed that one. That one I paused late. Uh, Unfortunate. Well, good thing we're in a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a not world record pace, let me tell you. Yeah. yeah. And we will come back to park later. Notice I did not get the medals or the tokens or the uh, three red nerves. We'll get them later. For now, we get to go to downtown. One of the cooler levels, I feel, at least aesthetically. Yeah, it's nice. It's got that cool like nightlife vibe. Yeah, old kids cartoons kind of. This is another route that is ooze perfect. And the cool thing about a lot of 100% uh, in this game is that every level kind of has its own mini trick. Um, like this one, we will get to see 
do you want to go up? <laughs> and that'll make sense in about 10 seconds. Yeah. Do you want to climb up? <laughs> so by getting on the ladder uh, before the cutscene, we can just mash through that. Yeah, you have to wait to actually climb yeah. up. Yeah. This is fun. Okay. This nerve will run away from me if I uh, am not fast to scaring it, so let me get that one first. And then this one is nerve 5. There we go. We got one. See, it showed the text box and we get to skip all of that saving stuff. Alright, now we get Sully for for market. <laughs> so Sully has a cool thing where you can ground pound and it gives you height, and we can use that to skip some things. Uh, like how I just skipped to getting on those boxes. You can see there was a trampoline silhouette. Uh, we don't have the trampoline unlocked. Yep. Okay, solid so far. Uh, this level is kind of long for Urban, um, but we get almost everything as we just go through the level. So we'll get all the tokens uh, as we're just going through it. And again, need to just keep collecting all of these, everything that I can find, because... We need so much to be able to scare a red. Scraping the ooze barrel. Okay, one token before this. Need to not miss that. And here, we're supposed to break the boxes, but if we land on the top one, then we don't break any underneath us, so we can just stand on top of the nerve. It's a pretty good flex. Mm. Just like that, yeah. Flex. Perfect. But, um, yeah, you may, may have seen, um, Dolly's Round Pound is pretty jank. Uh, we use it in many parts in order to reach ledges uh, without having to ground pound, I mean, without having to ledge yeah. grab. Um, and others. Here, uh, if this is what I think it is, this is, uh, yep, gone. Yep. Uh, oh, I did not get it. This is... I was uh, way too slow for that. Um, uh, so but uh, I, the idea is that you can move during the little animation there and get up to this nerve faster. Yep, gone. So this is one of four ner three nerves, actually, that we are going to sit and eat the metal. But we can do a thing called metal stacking. And what I did was I grabbed the last token and while I was uh, right before I got the bronze medal. So I get both of them at the same time. Um, it's only used twice. It's an underrated trick. It's actually really cool. Really, really cool, yeah. Because we just played both animations at the same time. Uh, but there was a very specific reason why we have to watch three bronze medals. And that is, you'll see that once I'm done with this nerve. Of course I get that one. <laughs> so we get this congratulations. We're supposed to race Randall, done it but we say no. <laughs> and now we can go back in. Uh, we have the trampoline power up. But we don't use it there. Because <laughs> we don't want the trampoline. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the uh, slightly harder thing, just because we can. Yeah, slightly faster. Yeah. And this is the last one. This is our second gold medal out of twelve. Let's see if we can get 
get the skip. Nice. All right. Now we can go back and start cleaning up levels. So I'll go back to park first, because park is kind of annoying. Yeah. These trash cans were not nice today. Yeah, a fun fact about the trash cans, if you hit them for long enough, you will get an extra life token. I believe it's 25 hits. Yeah, unfortunately they have no like use in the speedrun, but... Yeah. These nerves, you really want to like be predicting the um the scare button to mash, uh, because they just take so long. I didn't mean to ground pound that. Uh, this is the only animation in the entire game where you can move during the cutscene for some reason. I don't know. And here we return to here because we now have the trampoline. Uh, there used to be an old route where we used Sully to jump up a slope on the side of that. Uh, but it was really hard and it sucked. And just coming back, the trampoline is faster. So yeah, I, I routed that out a long time ago. <laughs> There's quite a few infinite jumps of slopes that I routed out. Here we will uh, be uh, Randall uh, doing what he does best and uh, scheming. Uh, I would play Donkey Kong for a second. <laughs> yeah. And did you know that Randall can just Boom. disappear? <laughs> he doesn't blend yeah. into things. No, he he disappears. Little known yep. fact. <laughs> all right, this is where all the tokens are for this level on this slide. Uh, the slide mechanics are a little bit weird, but I basically just hold up, and we're good. <laughs> Easy. Big dubs. <laughs> oh, why did it go backwards? That's like kind of like a, a two-for-one thing. Um, and in rooms, for some reason, uh, you get the thing called a sound glitch, where... Uh, the sounds just don't exist, so Mike just didn't say booga. <laughs> it's 100% con consistent. That will always happen there, and I don't know why. It can also happen sometimes yeah. when you start up a new file. Uh, sometimes the characters just don't want to say their lines. Yeah, this really isn't a port. It's more so just the PS1 version, but on the PC, if that makes sense. Like, there are many things that are off. But it is an official PC version, and we will we play this uh, because we don't have to deal with the loads that the PS1 has to deal with, which is really, really annoying. Yeah, yeah and usually um, when you when you miss the uh, bronze metal skip, there's usually a bit of a gap. That's because the game fails to uh, load the cutscenes, because yeah. in the PS1 version, they, they use uh, clips from the movie as like cutscenes, and of course they have... Like, no reason to be there. Yeah. Besides just to be there. Yeah, classic but, Disney you know. old garbage games. <laughs> yeah, you see this in so many games like okay. Toy Story 2 and Bugs Life and like, so many others. Yeah. There, it's supposed to play a movie clip, but it just doesn't load. It's just a black screen. There's even like a movie viewer. Uh, and it won't load them there either. <laughs> it's very weird. Mm -hmm. We're coming up to a very funny trick. After all the boogas. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not what I was supposed to do. Uh, yeah, that, too far. uh... Cut <laughs> yep. Um, so this is, uh, what's coming up here is pretty cool. Um, not right here, but, uh... So here I die, oh, to warp back, and then I jump, collect the metal, and die again. Not bad for a guy with yep, <laughs> that one. Double death. Right there. Double. So good. Wow. Yep. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh. Alright, this is the last nerve of Urban. And we are almost out of Urban. First of three level sets. Yep. Alright, I found the groove with these pause skips. Let's go. Let's go. Those are also uh, timing based, of course. Yes. Okay, so here I actually start out with Pyramid uh, because this prevents a soft lock. There was a time when I was going for sub one in this game uh, <laughs> where I soft locked to Pyramid 22 times in a row. And I was very frustrated, so I completely rerouted when I did it and how to do it, and it saves time over the old route and no longer soft flux. So thank God for that. It is marathon safe? Oh my God! It, it, it was a dark day. You guys know Mike can float. <laughs> dark era for the band for it. Was it was it was it was really rough. But now, the current world record is a 58-39 as of yesterday. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so Pyramid is kind of a cool level uh, where we have all these sub-levels. I kind of just forgot to explain that. Um, so hitting the button changes which sub-level you go into. Uh, other than that, it's pretty linear. This, the desert levels are all based on kind of puzzle-ish, um, but they're really easy puzzles. <laughs> yeah, like this this part, um, like the first entrance of the pyramid is not that much different to the uh, any percent round. Uh, yeah, it's just collecting a couple medals, a couple tokens, and that's it. Uh so it doesn't matter what category it is, that boulder will always suck. Yeah, the, the boulder cycle in this, it is on a cycle, and it's just annoying. Yeah. Okay, but we are, we're done with Pyramid 1. We will be back. Perfect. And the metal, let's go. Now we get to go into Sphinx. And Sphinx, thank uh, thank goodness for this. Yeah, um, so what you do is you have a kind of like a puzzle thing where you have to go to certain parts of the map and press a, a button that correlates with what the, uh, with what is just showed right there when you press that button. Um, but uh, you'll see that uh, you don't have to press immediately, you can go around the map and uh, like scare nerves and stuff. Uh, yeah. And it's the same thing every time. So, we can actually route this. It's not RNG. Um, Thank God for that. Yes. <laughs> also, that blue nerve, if I'm too far away, I can crash the game. Uh, but I did not. Yep. Also, this part is kind of Yeah, cool. so there's an invisible wall there to stop you from doing that. But you can jump around the invisible wall. <laughs> so we can do that. And get that exactly. token early. We love our oversight. Yep. Nice, good use collection. Uh, so yeah, this level is kind of big, uh, very open, but sometimes you have to cross long ways. Like I have to go across the entire level here. Mm -hmm. So, it's just boring, but it's Mike. I got none of those oozes. How? Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, we got a camera glitch. So, I jumped off... Of, I When you ground pound as Mike, you can uh, move during the animation a little bit until you fall on the ground. Um... And if you do it off of a high height, the camera will clip into the ground, and it's very weird and kind of hard to see. Uh, yeah, and also this game, uh, like every other platform ever made, has a perfect camera. <laughs> yes. Uh, no issues whatsoever. 
uh, there I Same. intentionally ran close to the orange to scare it, uh, to get it to move. Not scare, scare, but because uh, that hammer thing will hit me if it's close to it, so moved it out of the way and we'll go back for it later. Nice. Let's see if we get camera glitch. No, the camera is nice. That's, that's a very rare. Oh, that is a good question. Right Are there separate mic and Sully levels? Uh, no. You can use Mike or Sully for any level, but Mike is fast if you need to go long distances, so you can roll a lot, and Sully is uh, fast for a few tricks that he has, and also if there's a lot of jumping. Yeah, we will see, actually, uh... Bam will switch between characters for when he returns to levels. There, that was a good one. Um, and X. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Mike to... does have a skip here. Crazy, he actually gets something. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, I play it safe with the oozes. So here, I can ground pound the button to get a little bit farther forward. And then as long as I don't roll, this door won't close. So if I roll right before, we're supposed to use a speed boost to get in there, uh, but we can just cheese it. Oh, I'm actually one ooze off. <laughs> That's funny. I was even playing it safe with oozes. Thankfully, this is safe on there. There we go. Booga, 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 booga. Yeah, I can't get over it. I just love them so much. <laughs> All the boogas. Yes. Get those boogas in chat. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> I also love how Mike uh, straight up just pokes his eye. That would scare me. Yeah. Like, who knows where his eye's been? There's two reds in there. And now we get to do a cool silver metal skip. Uh, and this one is a lot less useful. But after the saving, I can say no. And it plays a little bit of that red nerve animation uh, and then quits out. So we don't have to watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to leave yeah, it. Though I've, so. uh, I'm just thinking, like, this is meant to be a sand level. So, like, if he's sticking his finger in his <laughs> eye, like, he might have sand in his Yo, eye. Yo, that's a good point. Yeah, Mike sand does in not a finger. Care. <laughs> so much agitation in yep. that eye socket. Gosh. Nice. Okay. Now we go into this is a crazy. This skip saves the most time in the entire run. Yeah, it's it's actually crazy, and this is one of the few uh, levels in the game where Mike is one hundred percent slower because this skip that you're going to see Bam do is only possible with solo. Yeah. Don't know why. If you use, I think it's. Okay. I, th I think it's it's just, it has something to do with um, the mass of Sully. It's the hitbox. Sully's to, a big boy. The hitbox. Yeah. You'll see it right up here. But usually, what you do is you grab those boxes and do kind of a similar thing to what you saw in Sphinx, except instead of pressing buttons, you place uh, the boxes in certain places, but. Uh, actually right here, you'll see- Oh yeah, picture. okay, that shouldn't have made it, but <laughs> it did! Okay. Yep. <laughs> so here we grab this box, throw it on top <laughs> of the sarcophagus. Uh, if we go up against the wall, place it down and then jump, it clips into the ground, and I got an insta-clip. <laughs> so now we're in. We Let's don't go. have to open wow. it. That was really, really fast. <laughs> it's usually not that Yeah, fast. normally <laughs> you have to like walk around for a second or two to like- I, I, it's something with the way his animation lines up and like you hit the trigger. It's very, very weird. Uh, but yeah, with Mike, yeah. Mike can't do that. So if you use Mike for this level, you would lose. I think it's something like three minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I got the uh, I got the Shack shooting free throws over here. But yeah, we want to throw the boxes onto the uh, buttons because we can get them from a distance. And it stops us from having to do this horribly slow walk. 
Am I gonna? Yeah, I got yeah. hit. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess that wasn't the slowest. Nice. Yeah, we, we, we love our flying saucers in the desert. Yeah, you can either avoid the beam, which I didn't do, or you can run over the button, uh, which will get it to drop and won't deal damage. But I did neither of those, so I guess I just decided to eat it. It was interesting. I got it here. We want to collect all this ooze plus the tokens. Okay. And do one last puzzle. Wonder where it goes. Whoa! I got it! Crazy. <laughs> but right here, we will... Probably, uh, if, if I'm correct on this, we will see another uh, use of the uh, metal stacking. Correct? Nice. You see, Sully did too, but I love the congratulations, you successfully blah, 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 silver medal. <laughs> Good job, game, you did it. <laughs> yeah, that the, the way you did that actually sounds like one of the sounds that uh, blah, 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 no, like the Sully does. <laughs> Uh, I did not do that correctly. Whoops. Okay. Well, now we get a red. Now we do all three reds. Uh, the last one, there's a very cool trick, which is just called another infinite jump. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there's two ways of going about doing the last part, uh, and I'll explain those when we get out there. But basically, there's a nerve that is kind of high up, and uh, you can either grab a box and place it down and then jump off the box, which isn't too bad. Or you can do the really cool fast way uh, and do a really hard infinite jump. But first I have to jump once, otherwise it won't give it to me. Perfect. <laughs> that is way tighter than you would think. Uh, kind of gamer. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that has to be my favorite scare besides the disco one. It's just like, yeah, here's a paper bag. That'll <laughs> right. scare you. Okay, this is Oasis. Oasis has a nice chill vibe, but it is anything but chill in the speedrun. This is like probably oh, okay. <laughs> probably the perfectly showcased right there. Probably the third hardest level. Uh, mostly because of this tree jump. And another trick coming up. And that is a Mike triple jump, which we haven't explained yet. Yeah, that is going to be used a bit later on in the uh, the game. But um, basically, um, wh how, what you do is you do the Mike flutter thing, which is what happens when you do a normal jump, except you hold down the jump button. But if you spam jump, it'll give you uh, more than one more than uh It'll give you a couple more jumps, which allows you to clear certain things, like you just saw Bam do there. Yeah. It's good for clearing large gaps. It's and not as useful as Sully's infinite jump, because you only get two jumps out of it. Uh, mm -hmm. But it is very good. Yeah. Like, especially for levels uh, that Sully is just not faster for. Like this one. Um, and I also, like, you saw me, I went in, collected a ton of ooze, and then just left so I could refresh it. And that's because this route is absolutely crazy and nuts. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so I didn't even get a double jump there somehow. Um, yeah, this game is a, uh, it's, it's an input monster. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what happened with that tree there. Okay. Anyways, I need to go over to this nerf. I'm gonna triple jump. I was supposed to jump over to this, and then we can land on the edge of the carpet and then jump over. We got there eventually. Yep. Still it matters. I haven't even gotten to the hard trick. Oh gosh, yeah. They're going to uh There we go, the carpet. That's the later on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> Okay, here, I have to do a very specific lineup to get the very edge of that with the ground pound to get as much distance forward as possible because I need to roll 
uh, a really precise way. I should have it to get this metal to land on top of the cage and to scare this nerve. If I don't go far enough, the cage closes and I have to try it again. Uh, that is actually, again, another really tight trick, um, but it allows us to skip using a speed boost. I just want to quickly mention, um, that is, like, there are only two categories that do that, and the other category for this is, uh, metal duping, um, which is, uh, the most broken category of this game by far. Um, basically, if you die, like, if, if you die, um, before you get a medal, uh, it basically dupes the medals for you, and, uh, allows you to skip, like, 70% of the game, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so that is the puzzle of this level, is, like, this. Okay, if I miss that one, uh, <laughs> it actually metal dupes. So it would be an invalid yeah. one if I missed that, but I got it, so it's valid. Red, orange, red, green. So here we want green or yellow, otherwise this nerve will go onto those uh, platforms in the middle of the lake, uh, which just loses a ton of time because you can't scare it for a while. Uh, but that's a really good pattern for us. Yeah, the closest you are to the nerve, the better. This red one doesn't matter because be uh, it takes a very wide path. Red, orange, red, green, yellow. Oh. I've never seen it give the same start to a pattern twice. That's weird. Luckily for us, the red one takes a very long while to find us the bed. Or a platform, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now we have one last way to break this level is to do solely ground pound and get up on this tree. Oh. There we go. I mentioned, mentioned earlier that uh, solely ground pound is pretty jank, and uh, that is one of the biggest uses of yep. it. I did this wrong. Did I? I did the levels backwards. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, okay. No, we're good. Oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know why that actually worked. Um,. I don't know anything about this game, apparently. <laughs> so yeah. I've metal skipped, which should have um, not given me the race there. And in any percent, you don't want to go to any of the races. You skip them all, which skips giving you the power-ups. So I didn't think that I would have the speed boost. Thankfully, there is a backup, and we would be fine. Uh, it wouldn't actually lose that much time. Um, but we're we're good. We got the speed boost. So <laughs> I I don't even I don't know how I how that worked. Okay, it's fine. We don't complain. Yeah. Okay, there's one more silver medal here. Our token for the silver medal after this nerve, and we're going to do one of those cool silver metal skips. Not bad for a guy with you should jump right on it. That is where I would softlock before in Pyramid. It would just not give me the silver metal for some reason. Uh, but you saw I, I went to Oasis. Uh, <laughs> nobody saw that one. Exactly. Didn't see anything. Yeah, it was perfect though how you said like, oh what do is go to the oasis. Yep. Okay. This is the last nerve of the desert levels. Or as I like to call them desert levels. And just, now we are done. 
Okay, so now we get to go onto the Arctic levels. And these are supposed to be the hardest, and they're really not that bad. Uh, for the most there, part, There's yes. one level that is bad. <laughs> yeah. But it's also the best level in Arctic, so... Okay. Yeah, and if I know what Bam is talking yep. about, it is a level that got a bit better, but got bad again. Yeah, but, uh... We'll get there. We need to discuss Hot Springs here. Hot Springs is the uh -huh. longest one out of all of them. Um, mostly because there's these water spouts that have cycles. And I am going to be missing a cycle. Uh, I think it's just kind of given in 100%. That is a scary jump. That you are not supposed to be able to do without flutter, but we can. And then we just get to roll again. Roll, 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 roll. Spin. I didn't mean to spin. <laughs> if I don't walk forward enough, uh, then Mike will spin. So this is the cycle. Okay, I actually almost made it. Uh, in any percent, you can make that cycle and you can get up. And that is called the God Cycle. And 100% is way harder because you also have to collect that token off to the side. Uh, yeah, I think I've come very close to doing it one time ever. And I don't know how. And this is nerve number four. But I will be leaving this level. And then we're just going to go right back into it. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to uh, roll afraid. all the way back, and then this saves seven seconds. Cool. Xbox, let's go. Okay, Iceberg is annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to do quite a few uh, things, like uh, death warps, but uh, there are a lot of enemies, like these freaking snowmen, snowmen that just throw uh, snowballs at you. And these uh, piranhas, I guess you yeah, call them. The fish. Uh, oh, should I just show off a really dumb trick that's not fast? <laughs> I say yes. Okay, I'll do it. How are we looking on time? 45? Yeah, I got plenty of time. So this, that route is um, interesting because we get all the ooze kind of up front while we climb the tower. Um, and then go in the water. Uh, but we do need kind of a lot of ooze because there's really only greens in this level for some reason, but they give you so many. It's an interesting level. Uh, but here we are actually going to Death Warp. And it's it's super precise. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I got it. Because <laughs> it's not precise at all. You just kind of jump and if you make it at least halfway, you're good. Yes. One more nerve for the bronze medal. So uh, later on, when we return this level, you will see some uh, pretty precise uh, gameplay. Okay. Oh, medal too. Nice. Go. Cool. Okay. Yep. Right here. So here I'm. I do a ground pound to get the token early. Uh, and I'm going to actually avoid taking damage just in case. Uh, um, because of this skip that I'm going to do. Yeah, this is interesting. Yep. This is actually the backup. Uh, so I'm going to infinite jump into the void. Got it. So. <laughs> oh, gosh. I forgot uh, about that. Yeah. 
So we can. This is the interior, uh, and it's just stored out of bounds. It's just not visible. So we can go here. Uh, <laughs> hit the trigger to go inside, uh, which actually causes us to leave because we're hitting the inside trigger, and then go back out. So if we didn't have the speed boost, we would have to do that, but I have the speed boost. But that's the dumb trick. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I didn't practice that. I'm kind of surprised I got it. They maybe should have placed that interior a bit farther away. Uh, no. There's a couple of interiors <laughs> you can do that with. The main one being that one, and there's one in docks. Just imagine, like... Just, I mean, this is a kid's game, so it's just like... I, I doubt that they would even think that you can ninja jump, but... Right. That's another really tight infinite jump. Uh, that did for swag. Yep. It's also slightly faster, but it's very tight. Yeah, I, I thought Bam was going to do a route here that used to be like, you, you have to jump up the slide. Oh, oh, I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, that <laughs> one's really bad. But we do get to infinite jump up this pillar. Okay. Second try, that's fine. <laughs> we got it in the end. Oh, Sully sound glitched. Yep. That's what's cool. <laughs> I missed the gold ring. That's fine. Golds aren't that bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a very common thing, especially in uh, orientation, but uh it, it happens outside of it. Okay, time for the funny level. Yep, this is the level we were talking about earlier. That no matter what, has no like throughout the course of the speedrun, this has been one of the worst levels in the game. Yeah, and you'll see why in a second. And Hondo, it's it, it has no shortage of awfulness, but it's uh, also kind of interesting. I'd say it's a bit more chill compared to any percent. Uh, a little bit. But that's just because there's like a minute of uh, fun. We'll call it fun for now. <laughs> I don't want to give yeah. it away. Uh, but here I leave that the lift area and go back in. But yeah, these lifts are on a cycle. By leaving and going back in, I reset the cycle. I miss the one ooze. Oh, I was going to do the funny thing. Okay. I think I can still do it. Just to scare everybody that's around this game. Oh, not that. First person mode. <laughs> oh. I forget that exists. But yeah, sometimes. it's. Doing that while on the ski lift is actually kind of scary. Uh, yeah. Okay, here here we go. You ready? This is funny. We, we have sledding in this game, but it gets better. This is the best. This is the best part of the run, by the way. Did I, I did this backwards. Man, this had time save too. I came up with a new route for this level uh, while I was uh, warming up, and I forgot to do it. So that's annoying. Woohoo! Oh, I still get to do it because I missed it. <laughs> okay. One more time. Uh, and there's two sides, and they each have a couple tokens, we have to do them both. Yeah, woohoo! Best voice line in the game. Uh, the only other one that you could even possibly debate me on is saying Booga is the best voice line. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo and we get to hear it a Woo couple more times. And I'll do some for the fans because I have to do this whole thing anyways. Woohoo! Woo oh, I missed one. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what is this camera? Okay. Woohoo! Okay, please get the token this time. Got it, okay. And now I don't have to go all the way to the end. That's the new route that I came up with. Uh, was... Uh, just quitting that. 
you do right first and then you quit on that one instead of taking it all the way to the end. It should save a couple seconds, but haven't gotten to test it. There's a red, but we will come back for him. So we open up a shortcut there so we can just go up here and grab these. There's two more for the bronze. Yeah, this is an application of the triple jump. Um, this is done in any percent and is quite possibly the scariest part of the game. <laughs> yes. No. Metal skips are the scariest part of the level. Always. Yeah. Alright, now we're into the last new level that we will ever see. And that's Shack. Um, this one is the shortest level. It's very compact, uh, and there's a lot of red ooze that made the sound of hitting me, but did not hit me. Weird. Okay. Yeah, this level's called a sugar shack, so for a bit, I, I, I used to think that all the uh, no was sugar. <laughs> True. That's, uh, if only it was in the dessert levels. Yeah. <laughs> This, oh, we already have two nerves, and we basically just started. Uh, here, there's, we're supposed to ledge grab, but we can just... Okay, ledge grab. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. Intended way. Yep. Uh, you can skip the ledge grab and just jump on the platform. The ledge grab isn't that slow, though. It's very, very safe. Look at that, more is. Okay, well, I get the gamer jump. Yeah, up here, um, we're gonna do something that is slightly different to uh, what you're supposed to do. Um, as you'll see, Bam do, uh, right here. Nice. As a very precise double jump. Yeah. Um, that skips what you would normally have to do, where you'd have to grab some logs that are right under the shack and place them on top of each other so that you can let's grab onto the ledge. Obviously, that's very slow. Cause yeah. Picking up things as Mike is terrible. The reason why uh, Tomb Skip is so much faster. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can also flutter jump that or infinite jump with Sully, uh, but doing the double jump is just a tad bit faster. And here, we're supposed to like go around, but you can just flutter jump up here. Why would I go around the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where this interior is. I haven't found this one out of bounds. That would be kind of cool to know. All right, quit out. And now we get... You've done it. The last Randall race that I skipped. I'm... Wow, okay. Okay. So now I'm going to come back in as Sully. And go. this is a new trick. Um, I'm gonna give it like three attempts because this is actually really, really hard. This was found by Thermal Square. Uh, but we're gonna use some janky mailbox physics here. Oh, I thought I had the first try. Oh, a second try. Let's go. There we huh, go. That's sick. We'll so that stops us try. from going back for the uh, double jump. That's actually crazy. I get that like. Maybe 25% of the time if I'm lucky. So, shout out to Thermal for finding that. It's pretty correct. Yeah, the, yeah, the mailbox yeah. physics are extremely bad. There's like a slope on it, and yeah. There we uh, do one of those sick little metal, silver metal skips. Boing. This nerve, we have to uh, make it frightened of us before we can scare it. Since we use the slingshots, uh, now we just wait. They're the very old 100% route. Back in like 2018, you didn't use the slingshots at all. 
Oh, actually, no, you use them one time. Oh, that's annoying. Um... Yeah, I forgot which level to go to. Yeah, um, Hundo used to be a much... I mean, it's already a, like, hard category, but it used to be so much harder because we refused to use the slingshots. Yeah. But then it was found that they were so much faster, and it it made Hundo just so much better. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show it off. Uh, I'll, I'll show where it is. When I run by it, I'll mention it. But there used to be an infinite jump up a slope of Sully, which then led into a really annoying infinite jump, which then led into an infinite jump of a trampoline, which is frame perfect. Uh, and it was all in this level, which is at the end of the game. So if you, you know, lost 30 seconds to your gold, that was a good run. <laughs> it was so yeah. hard. And then when I came back to this game back in 2020, uh, I was like, wait, what if we just come back with a slingshot? Uh, and in this one alone, it saved a minute and a half. <laughs> so... Yeah, a lot of a lot has changed in the last few years that Bam has been back in this game. Yeah. I kind of took the game and broke it. Yeah, like... The reason why Hundo is even able to be under an hour is because of things found after he came back. Oh, I forgot to mention it. <laughs> well, it was back there. The infinite jump was back there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was back there. I, I kind of had it in my head, but I, I thought, I don't know. Apparently something is happening with the stream. Apparently something is happening with the live stream and chat is freaking out right now. Yeah, I'm not confident we are audible, not though. Okay. I thought that was metal stacking for a bit. Okay. Yep, you're good. Cool. Okay. Well, this yeah. is the gold medal nerve uh, for hot springs. Mm -hmm. Got the skip. And we have one last level to Let's clean see. up here. And that is the one and only ski lift. And we need to come back to this for a very specific reason, which we'll see in a second. Oh, okay, so I, I see that there was apparently Booga still going on, so that's all that really matters. Booga's still coming in strong with the attack. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Okay, so yeah, we had to come back for that slingshot. There's, you can get up here, but it's without it, but it's really, really bad. That was never, ever in the route because it's just so terrible. And this is the last silver medal skip that I'm gonna do. And this one is the most important one out of all of them. Because if I don't get this, it plays a whole cutscene about like, congratulations, you got all the silver medals. But I got it, so. And then we get to come back in a Sully to finish it out. I know, no Boogas. Boogas are done. Oh. But I'm doing this for a very specific the reason. Humanity. I have to do it. This is the Hopefully last one. Uh, time way. ends right now. All right. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nice <laughs> pose. <laughs> I had to do it. But that is Monsters Inc. 100%. And I actually don't get the cutscene because um, I failed one metal skip. I was slightly too early. Uh, but if we go back into the inventory, we can see that I did, in fact, get all of the medals. That is 100%. 10150 is a good time. I'm very that is my best marathon time. Ah, eh, congratulations. Um, we do have some time though, since I'm underestimate. Am I allowed to show off the Randall races? They should take like four to five minutes. 
So it's up to you. Um, you know what? We are a little under, so yeah. Why don't, yes, you can. Cool. So I'm. Yeah. Extra Monsters Inc. content just for you, chat. Just for you. I played well ready? enough that we deserve yeah, this. Me? So these are the random races which we skipped, and these are what give us the power ups. But we get to hear some absolute bangers, especially this one. This is my yeah. favorite song in the entire game. I, it, it Very jazzy. <laughs> what? Yep. Okay. Uh. Interesting. World record holder for all of the <laughs> random races. Yeah. Way. We we don't we don't mention that. <laughs> yeah. So the goal <laughs> I of this think we is it. to collect all of the medals, all of the tokens, or enough of the tokens. You have to collect a certain amount. Uh, and then beat Randall. Um, which will be harder later on. This is the first one. This is Urban. This is... This is the first race. Like it, This is the easiest one by far. Okay, can I get the trampoline jump? No, I didn't get it. You can jump off the slide directly out of the trampoline, and it's pretty cool. But I, I didn't get it. First one is about to be done. All right, you win! Yay! So we don't say. Yeah, I get it. Water. Uh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, now on to desert. Are you ready to challenge me? Uh, this one is kind of weird. It's not too hard. Um, but like. It seems like the slide boosts you, and I don't know if it does, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna play it a bit safe here. Not doing the world record level strats. You can skip one jump. <laughs> but it's it's tight. So now I do kind of have to pay attention a little bit to my metal count. It's uh, not the biggest issue yet, but for, our, for the Arctic one, we are going to have to Pound all the tokens. Then we get a speed boost jump uh, to go sp super speedy. Okay, I should definitely have enough tokens. Nice. Okay, so you have to jump at a very awkward time there, otherwise you will not clear the jump. Okay, yeah, add enough. Cool. You win. Enjoy your... Next one, yeah, you have to get a lot of them. You have to get a lot of tokens. Are you ready to challenge me? And this is um, this is the only one that we do in any percent. In any percent, you have to do this, uh, but you don't actually have to win because it will play the cutscene afterwards no matter what. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to try my very hardest to win. I think I need 125 uh, tokens. Yep, 125. Okay. It's there's so little tokens in this. Like, I'm gonna need to get almost everything while still being able to use. So what's interesting? Yeah, the, th the thing about it is um, with the slingshots um, and any percent, it's kind of like a side effect of the metal uh, metal skips. Um, like you uh, have to. Uh, like sometimes you have to do this race without the. Yeah, you'll have to do it without the slingshots. The slingshots. Uh, okay, I did not get as many as I wanted there. Which is uh, a That's bit ironic, because this is meant to show off the slingshots, isn't it? And if you don't have the slingshots, Randall will actually softlock, because he needs the slingshots to continue on. So he'll just run into a wall indefinitely. Okay, he's right on his tail. But I needed some more tokens. Oh, we have plenty now. And by plenty, I mean I actually didn't get enough. <laughs> I was one, one short. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, but here's the... Uh, oh. Well, what? This is the bronze medal one. Imagine this, but with gold medals. Yeah. GG, that is uh, Monsters, Inc. Scream Team. Uh, appreciate you uh, letting us show this off. It is a very fun game. 
Indeed. Yes, absolutely. Very well done. Well done on the run. I can't believe we were one short on that final race, but uh, it was worth it to see Mike Wazowski in his graduation robes just sticking his head through that little hole. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is. Really um, anything else y'all would like to plug before we get ready for our next show here? Uh, I'm Shout out to the Monsters Inc. community. You guys are great. We love you. Um, I am Bamford on Twitch. Tim's. Um, I am, uh, okay, the underscore Tim's I I or two. It's it's complicated because uh, Twitch is bad. I had to make a new account, but. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you both so much for being here. Incredible run. Love the Monsters, Inc. action. And for all of you uh, who are sticking around as well, you're going to want to because we are going to uh, be continuing right along with the Hotfix content today. And I believe we're going to be having some fun with, with Neopets, uh, the PS2 Ooh. Neopets game right after this with the multi-showcasing uh, uh, multi uh, Jaxler, who has been on awfully silly quite a few times so uh you're gonna want to stick around for that there are so many cool glitches coming up for uh within so stick around but we are going to take a break and we'll see you uh on the other side and so we'll, you will see kung fu fruit cup as well so see you then bye everyone bye bye